Hey fish keepers, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today we're going to be talking about the humble platy and why I think you should consider having some in your aquarium. Okay, so let's talk about why I think the humble platy is one of the best, if not the best fish to begin with in this hobby. To start with they don't get too big, sort of five or six centimeters and they live a lifespan of around three or four years which means you can keep them in about a 50 litre tank for the best part of their life. They're social, they're interactive, they're hardy, they're personable, and look at how damn beautiful they are. They come in a massively wide variety of colours. On the last supply list I looked at, there was 14 different variations of the one platy. How stunning is that? Oranges, reds, blacks, blues, different colour tails. They're just phenomenal, and there's so many variations with the one, the one fish. So they're not a schooling fish, so you don't have to keep them in schooling type numbers. However, because they're so social, they do far better in a group than what they do by themselves. You can keep them individually, but they do much, much better in a small group of five, six, seven or eight or something along those lines. If you're looking at wanting to keep a smaller group, a ratio of one male to three females will be your best options. Because, as you know, my, most live bearers, they like to reproduce as often as possible. Feeding them is nice and simple. Uh, they'll accept pretty much any flake, any small pellet that fit in their mouths. Uh, they do really well in live food like brine shrimp, daphnia, uh, and they do like a little bit of vegetation in their diet. So if you get a vegetable based flake, they will do really well. And have I mentioned how pretty they are? I mean, look at how beautiful these fish are. They are just stunning. They've got a fairly wide pH range between sort of 6.8 and 8, and they've got a fairly wide temperature range from the low 20s to sort of mid 20, 25, 26 and that kind of mark. So they've got a really big scope for things that you can keep with them and ways that you can keep them. Because they're native to Mexico and Central America they do like the water slightly harder but that's not really the end of the world because lots of things can go with them. Other guppies, um, mollies, sword tails all work really well. Even a big range of tetras can go with them. Absolutely plant safe so you can plant your aquarium out and not worry about them chewing them up or ruining them and they're absolutely just the quintessential community fish. They can pretty much go with anything. They are just amazing fish. I very much encourage you to give them a go. They're incredibly hardy fish and they're relatively cheap. Uh, we sell ours for $7.99 so you're getting a lot of fish for $8. Bucks. Uh, considering guppies are sort of $15, sword tails around that $15 mark, same with the mollies. Uh, these fish are absolutely slept on, they're just stunning. Look how beautiful they are. Have I said how beautiful they are? Because they absolutely are. Look at them, they're gorgeous. They're not prone to any particular disease, but every now and then you get the odd one that gets a little bit thin and wastes away. Um, I think personally that it probably comes down to poor nutrition as opposed to uh, anything that the fish themselves are prone to. Nice and active feeders. They're just a fun, good time fish overall. I absolutely love them. So clearly I am Team Platy, um, and I think it's rightly so as well colourful, they're stunning, they're hardy, they're easy to care for, they're not demanding, they're amazing in a group, they're interactive, there's so much going on with them it's, it's not funny. I think they're a far better option for a beginner entry level hobbyist but they're also really good uh, options for people that have been keeping fish for a while. I think they're a better option over the guppies, not only the male and the female is colourful unlike the guppies but they're hardier, significantly hardier but they have the same sort of care requirements. If you haven't kept platies before or even considered keeping them before, hopefully this video might help you get you over the line. If you're just looking at getting into the fish keeping hobby, these are a really, really good option for you to look at. And maybe me just saying one more time, look at how stunning these fish are, might just help. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, so share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good one team, happy fish keeping, and catch you all later.